really don't feel like doing my hair right now. I mean, it's like mostly dried, so I probably could blow dry it pretty quick. It is already, it's past noon and I want it to be out around 11 or 12, so I'm running a bit late, but I have been trying out some new hair products. I picked up this whole system by L'Oreal. I haven't used L'Oreal hair care in a long time, but I came across this video or it popped up on my For You page on TikTok and this girl had a bunch of hair recommendations, so I decided to try them out. A couple of them, haven't worked out for me, but I have been liking this one in the purple bottle. I think they're all part of this Ever Pure collection, and this is the Sulfate Free 21 in 1 Color Carrying Spray. It kind of reminds me of something like It's a 10. It has a bunch of benefits to help like protect your hair with heat styling, blow drying, split ends, just controlling frizz, a whole bunch of stuff. So I've been using that. It actually smells really good too. I just use my regular like heat protectant spray. And then I also used my blowout spray that I used to use as well. But yeah, I just figured why not just kind of do another one of these shopping videos because there are a couple of new products that I'm on the hunt for. I do want to go to Walmart. There's a whole bunch of new scents from Bodycology. It's the floating on a cloud scent. It's like a whipped vanilla, juicy berry scent. They actually kind of repackaged a bunch of their older scents. It looks very similar to Bath and Body Works now, like the fragrance mists and the body washes look extremely similar to Bath and Body Works. So I want to try to find those. I do also have to pick up an order from Bath and Body Works and Ulta. I do need to go to the post office and go grocery shopping. And I want to go get a coffee too. So I really need to get going. I think I'm just going to change really quick. Oh, I wanted to finish up I think I'm pretty much done with my makeup, but I still wanted to put on one of my lip oils. I love these e.l.f. ones. I've been using them pretty much like every day. This one I think is my favorite. It's in Honey Talks. It's like this nude. And I usually just apply it over top of a lip liner. So today I use this one from NYX. This is the nude retractable lip liner. I also went in a little bit with Stone from MAC just to kind of contour a little bit. This is a super cool toned, like almost gray looking lip liner, but it kind of works as like a contour shade for your lips. I have that on and then I'm just gonna throw on the lip oil over top and they just feel so comfortable. It literally feels more of like a lip balm, not sticky at all and just a very sheer wash of color. I'm gonna change, pick out a perfume and then head out the door and head towards Walmart since that one is a little bit further away. All right, got dressed. Didn't really feel like getting dressed much either. Also, my room is kind of a mess. I was trying to avoid it, but really it's not that bad. I mean, my vanity is not looking too great because I did just get ready. I usually try to put my makeup away as I'm getting dressed, but yeah, that didn't happen today. And I just been trying to film a bunch of videos. So that's reason why stuff like is kind of out where it shouldn't be. I do want to pick out a perfume that I'm gonna wear today. And also I was kind of thinking, I do want to redo this wall. I feel like I'm always changing up the shelf. I'm always rotating things around. And I think mainly what I'm going for right now is I want something a lot more minimal and simple. So right now I have like a bunch of my old fragrance mists in cubes like this. I have some in my closet. So that's where a bunch of my fragrance mists are. But as far as what I have on display, I want it just to look very clean, simple. And I figured I could just rotate my different perfume trays throughout the month, you know, like once a month or so, because I am someone that I need to see things in order to remember to use them. So I've been trying to go back and forth with that. And I was thinking maybe getting rid of these two middle shelves and putting in a dresser like how I used to. The dresser that I used to have here is now in my bedroom. So I thought about getting another one. That way I could use it for storage and it would just kind of clear up some of the space. I mean, I would still keep these shelves. I'd probably move them to my room or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure yet. It's just an idea. I've been kind of going back and forth with different things, but maybe I'll do an updated room tour soon because I did change out a few things in here. And I think I'm just going to go back to my favorite combination at the moment. I've been loving Bear by Victoria's Secret. Okay, the bottle is okay. I don't know how it happens, but I always end up dropping products, but I love Bear by Victoria's Secret. It just smells so good. It's a perfect everyday perfume. And as you can see, I've made a pretty good dent in it because I've been wearing it often. So I love layering it with Bear Vanilla La Creme. This is one of my favorite versions of Bear Vanilla. It's actually one of the first collections I tried whenever I got back into Victoria's Secret. This one is like a nice sugary whipped vanilla. It has vanilla orchid and sponge sugar. It kind of has that same Bear vanilla DNA, just like a lighter, slightly more floral, just lighter version of vanilla. And I think it complements Bear really well. Another one that I like to layer, sometimes I'll mix all three together, but Twinkling Nights, this is another one of my favorites. It has whipped vanilla, mandarin blossom, and frosted jasmine petals. Unfortunately, 
these two here are discontinued, but I'm sure you can find them on like eBay or Macari. I usually like to go crazy with the perfume, but this is actually my boyfriend's hoodie that he likes to wear all the time. So I'm gonna try not to spray so much perfume on my clothes. So I'm gonna focus more like on my leggings and spraying it on my skin. This has been one of my most complimented combinations that I've worn recently. I think it smells really good, but the fact that I've received so many compliments wearing this, it just makes me want to wear it even more. I went to Taco Bell, I think it was like a week ago, and a girl complimented me in the drive-thru whenever I was wearing this. So I really like that combination, and I've been liking using more hair perfumes. So I have this one. I don't know how to pronounce that name, but I got it at Sephora. It's actually more of like a honey scented perfume. I mean, I think for a hair perfume, it's okay. It still kind of goes with my scent that I'm wearing. And this is the purse that I had packed from like a few days ago. So I'm just gonna continue to use this one. So we'll probably head to Walmart first. I don't know, I might go grocery shopping later. I definitely need to go at some point today because I'm out of a lot of stuff. Okay, finally out the door. It always takes me forever because I have to double, triple check every single thing in the house before I leave. Like I always double check the doors. I even check the stove even though I didn't use it the iron the flat iron even though I didn't use those I just get so paranoid so I end up checking a whole bunch of stuff it takes me forever to leave but I think I'm gonna go back to Duncan because I tried out a coffee the other day that I actually really like and I was just talking the other day about how I wasn't able to find like a coffee order that I really enjoy so I kind of want to try this one again see if I actually really do like it I'm thinking like do I get a coffee now or after that's what I'm trying to decide but I'm gonna head that way. I'm sure my phone will drop in just a second. Oh, there it goes. Always gotta be careful backing out because I have a bunch of little stray kitties. All right, this is a terrible angle, but yeah, I have like six stray kitties that I take care of. Um, they were just little kittens whenever they first showed up at my house, but now they've gotten a little bit bigger. So I still been taking care of them. I feed them like three times a day. Okay, let's see if it's here. I usually have pretty good luck finding some stuff at this location. Yes, they have everything that I'm looking for. So this is the newest one I was hoping to find, the floating on a cloud. Yeah, whipped vanilla, juicy berries. As you can tell by the packaging, it looks very similar to Bath and Body Works. So I think I'm gonna grab this one. And they repackaged a bunch of their other ones, like this one in Watermelon Splash. I think all of these they've already had before. They redid the strawberry cheesecake one, and this one's another one of my favorites. And this is the new look of the body washes. As you can see, it looks so similar to the Bath and Body Works one. It's just like a larger version, but I wonder if they changed the formula it still says it's like a two-in-one body wash and bubble bath so i think i'm gonna pick this one up too and i saw here that they redid some of the onyx scrubs they have this sandalwood and vanilla one these are like the foaming sugar scrubs i see these a lot like at tj maxx and marshall's and it comes with this little scrubber thing it looks like so they have the sandalwood vanilla the pomegranate and coconut and i was just looking at these on instagram i did not know that they had these here at walmart it's this sunday brand and it's all these whipped shower foams they have the pomegranate i think i'm gonna grab one i want to try this vanilla one they have a passion fruit berry this cherry on top one sounds really good too all of these sound really good i think these are like 15 dollars though so i'm probably just gonna grab one but this strawberries and cream one sounds really good too and they also have this coconut one i really like the packaging but I should probably try one out first to see if I actually like the formula. And I saw that they have another triad scrub. I don't think I've seen this one before in Passion Fruit Soul. I don't know how new this scent is, but yeah, I just found a couple of those over here. I was just taking a look at the lotions and I saw that they have a couple new ones from Native. They have this Sweet Peach and Nectar one. And then they also have the Lilac and White Tea. So I'm pretty sure those are new. I know they had lotions before in the past, but they were in different packaging. I wanted to grab some of my favorite lashes. They were by this brand, Salon Perfect, but I don't see them anymore, and I think they discontinued them. They were similar to those push-up ones, but just a little bit less full. They were like the perfect lash. I gotta see if maybe I can find them online, but I do want to check out the body washes just to see if there's anything else that's new. Oh, this is something new from Secret. It's a whole body deodorant. I've been seeing a lot of brands do these. I've never tried a whole body deodorants but they have this one in the peach and vanilla blossom scent 
and I think the spray one is in the same one too. I don't see any other scents so far. Okay, sorry y'all. I had to switch over to voiceover. I tried. Okay, baby steps. But these aisles, they were just so busy. Plus my hands were full and I was just trying to get clips of all the new stuff. So I did find more of those whole body deodorants from Secret. They had a couple other scents over here with all the rest of the deodorants. They also had some of the new Shea Moisture whole body deodorant creams and just like the regular stick deodorants. I still haven't tried those, but they do look really good. I love the packaging. They also had out the new Billy deodorants and I mean, it's still pretty pricey for a deodorant, but for something that's like aluminum free, like usually a lot of these newer brands, they are pretty expensive. So the fact that it's under $10, I don't think is terrible. I didn't grab one today, but I think out of all of them, well, I didn't smell them, but this coconut vanilla one sounded really good and also the lavender milk. There are just so many new deodorants. They had out the entire Dove line. So they have their whole body deodorant, which I still haven't tried. The other day, whenever I was HEB, they actually had a sale on these new vitamin care deodorants from Dove. So I did grab one there and I grabbed the raspberry rose one. I'll show you guys later. And then I went over to the body wash section and to my surprise, they actually had a lot more new stuff. I thought I found a lot of the new stuff last time, but here at Walmart, they had even more. They had this key lime and sugar one from Native. I thought that smelled so good. I love like sweet citrusy scents like that. And to me, it smelled more like a key lime pie. I did actually really like that one. If I wasn't already getting a whole bunch of other stuff, I probably would have grabbed it. I noticed a couple other scents. I don't know for sure if that one is new, the ocean and timber one, but I was just checking that one out. And I did also see the cotton and lily. I've seen this at a couple other stores, I'm pretty sure. I remember trying the powder and cotton one and I really, really like that one. That one was one of my favorites from Native. They did have another Dove body wash. This one I hadn't seen, the melon and even tone, but I already have two from this line. So I figured I just didn't need any more, but I have been really enjoying the ones that I have already tried. This one I've been using currently in my shower. It has like a hyaluronic serum and it's been working really well. I've also currently been using this one from Olay. It's the mango butter and vanilla cream one. I've really, really been enjoying the formula of these. They're just super thick and moisturizing. So the next one I do want to try is this rose and cherry cream one. It just sounds really good. I love rose scents. I love cherry scents. So I think I would like that one. And they did have one of the other new Olay body washes. I found this last week whenever I was at HEB, so they do have it here at Walmart as well. It's the new Vanilla Blossom and Apricot scent. It smells really good, so whenever I do want another Olay body wash, I think that's going to be the next one I grab. They also had that Birch Water and Lavender one. It's like very fresh, definitely very clean, a very relaxing scent that I would like to use before bed. I can't remember if this one is new or not, but they had this other one from Soft Soap. It is Peach and Gardenia. I've seen a few others because I remember some of them came out last summer. But they also had the Fiji one and then the Hawaiian one. I'm pretty sure I've seen those both before. And I did see that they have more Billy body washes now. The very first time I spotted these, they only had out this one scent. It was like a creamy vanilla woody scent. So I do already have that one. I think really the only one I'd probably be interested in is that Soothe one. It has like oat milk, but yeah, I decided not to grab any more of those, but it seems like they're going to be bringing out more Billy body care since I did just see the deodorant. And here towards the bottom shelf, I did notice another one from Suave. I can't remember if this one has been out before either, but it did look new to me. This is white tea and lavender, and it also had a chamomile note. I actually literally like how the Suave body washes have the notes listed here on the back. All the other ones, they're still pretty new. I think they came out sometime last year. And this is the last new body wash that I spotted. It's another one from Dial. This is cocoa butter and orange. It actually smelled really good, very, very sweet. So I decided to grab that one since it was around $4. My phone fell, so I had to readjust here. I am so excited and happy with that trip. I did end up getting a few things. I got some new body washes. I found exactly what I was looking for and so much more. I had no idea that there was even more new body care coming out. Overall, that was a super successful Walmart trip. And I didn't even have to go to the other one that's further away. And I was actually talking for a little bit, but I'm pretty proud of myself. Like that's a pretty big step for me because I do get really nervous doing these type of videos in public, which I really shouldn't care. And I'm working on that, but in the body care aisle, like where all the body washes and deodorants are, that was a lot more busy. So I got a little nervous there. It's also really hot and my hair is getting kind of frizzy because it's humid. I have no idea why I decided to wear this hoodie. It's like almost 90 degrees. But I think from here, I'm actually going to go get my coffee now. And I still need to go by the post office. I'm trying to get back. I have some packages out for delivery right now. And last time, somebody stole like five packages from me. So definitely want to be home before they get there. And yeah, I think that's it. So I think I'm going to do that, head home, and get back to my dog. Can I get a medium iced latte? Okay. Can I do that with oat milk? And if I could add um, two 
of the butter pecan shot and two blueberry, please. And that'll be it. Thank you. Ooh, I just noticed my makeup is breaking up on my nose. It never really does that. Got my iced coffee. I am so excited. I did actually order this a couple days ago. I came and tried it out two ways. I was seeing a bunch of videos about this drink on TikTok, and that's what inspired me to come over here and try it. So I did get the iced latte, and I did it with oat milk and added two of the butter pecan and two of the blueberry shots. I tried it out two ways. The first time I tried it also as an iced coffee. If you get it as an iced coffee, it is cheaper, but I just felt like it was a little bit more watery with the lattes especially with the oat milk it just makes it a lot creamier so i do like it um it's just a little bit more expensive i think it was like seven yeah seven dollars but that is because i added the oat milk adding the shots and stuff is free but if you like sweeter drinks or if you like something that tastes a little bit more like a dessert then i think you would like it i mean it is sweet for sure but it's nothing too crazy sweet in my opinion i really like that blueberry flavor i think honestly i could even do maybe three blueberry shots so it's really not that strong some people were describing this to taste more like a blueberry muffin i don't know it it does kind of taste like a dessert. I guess I could see kind of how it tastes like a muffin sort of. Either way, I like it, so I'm glad I was able to find something that I enjoy. I don't want to be spending $7 every time though, so I'm going to try to figure out a way to make this at home. I've been searching for a good blueberry syrup to add into my coffee because another drink I actually used to order here from Dunkin' was the iced matcha and I would add blueberry to that and it would literally taste like a blueberry muffin matcha. It was really, really good. So, I want to find out what type of syrup they use and hopefully just find like another pecan syrup or something. I do want to get home though because I'm just scared that those packages are going to arrive. That way I can share all the new stuff that I got. I'd film it here on my phone but I don't think I have enough storage for my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and then we'll wrap things up with the haul. All right so I'm finally back home and I figured I would do my haul now. I did end up stopping at Bath and Body Works after all to pick up my order because it was on the way. Nothing really too exciting but I also have another Bath and Body Works haul that I'm putting up because I went to the the outlets I think it was last week now I went to the Bath and Body Works and Victoria's Secret outlet so if anything I'll just save the things that I picked up today for that haul but anyways I wanted to go through all the stuff that I picked up today let me readjust here I've been watching Game of Thrones again on my iPad at this point I'm just an iPad kid because I bring this with me all over the house like this is my portable TV I think this is probably my fourth time watching Game of Thrones. I'm on season three, I just started. Oh, and that reminds me, I just got this book. I wanna start it soon. I've heard so many good things about this series. Honestly, I don't really know much about this series other than a bunch of people love it. It's a pretty long series. Like, I don't even know how many books total there are, but I feel like I'm ready to start this journey. So I'm gonna start this soon. I have heard that it kind of has like this Game of Thrones vibe, but also like a mix of romance. So we'll see, I'm gonna start that one maybe later this week. Also went to TJ Maxx last night and I picked up a couple things. So I figured I would just throw it in here. All right, so let's actually get into all the stuff that I picked up today. So I did grab a bag full of stuff. Honestly, it was so hard to not pick up so much stuff because I had no idea that there was even more new body care, you know? like. I already found a lot of the new stuff a couple weeks ago, but now it seems like there's even more. So I just picked up the things that sounded the most interesting and what I really, really was hoping to find. So one of the first things, and this might be one of the most exciting finds, this is from the brand Sunday, which I'm sure is pretty new. I just was looking at their Instagram the other night. I had no idea that this was gonna be sold anywhere here in the US. I don't know what I saw or if I just assumed, but I thought this was more of like a UK brand. A lot of the scents sounded so good. And even just the packaging and everything about it just, it just looked so cute. One that I ended up going with is the very vanilla one. It definitely resembles like a whipped cream bottle. Actually, I grabbed this because it reminded me that I just picked this up the other day at Ulta. This is the classic whipped, it's actually a sunscreen, it's SPF 30. I used this for the first time today, I used it on my face, which I'm kind of nervous about because it does have a strong scent. It smells like pina colada, which smells really good, but I do have pretty sensitive skin, so I'm not 100% sure how it's gonna work out for me. As long as it doesn't break me out, I will continue to use it because I do like the formula of it. Once you actually massage it into your skin, it kind of gives your skin like this glowy look, which I like. But anyways, back to this here. Basically, other than the packaging and the unique design, you just use it like a regular body wash. So we're gonna try it out right now. I was kind of messing with it to kind of see, and I was able just to get a tiny amount. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Oh God. Yeah, it's exactly what happened before. What am I doing wrong? I don't know if it's something with here. Like, is this, 
Am I supposed to do something with this little part here? I assumed I would either press it down from right here or you can't really like move this around. So it's not locked or anything. And I didn't want to risk breaking it. So I'll have to mess with it a little bit later, but at least now I can kind of get a feel for the scent. It looks more foamy, not so much like a thick cream. This sunscreen actually looks like whipped cream. This is a little bit thinner and the scent of it, I mean, I did just do a little amount here, but it's pretty light. I was expecting a really sweet vanilla frosting, almost like confetti cake pop, like cake batter, something like that. I just rubbed it into my hand, even though this is body wash. I think this is gonna be one of those things where I maybe have to wait and actually try it out in the shower, but it is pretty expensive for a body wash. I think it's around $15. So I'm glad I used some self-control and just picked up one to be able to test it out. The vanilla one right now, it seems pretty light. Like I'm not really getting a vanilla scent with that one. So I'll have to come back and see. This next thing here, I am so excited about. So let's jump right into this new scent from Bodycology. I am so happy that I found this. This is the new Floating on a Cloud. Just look at the packaging. It's so cute. It has these like fluffy clouds, a lot of mixed berries. I was automatically thinking about Boardwalk Taffy. I was just assuming like the clouds would be like cotton candy and the berries, especially because the packaging now looks exactly like Bath & Body Works. Like it's the same exact packaging now, but I think these are like $4. So a lot cheaper and Bodycology has done scents in the past that have been similar to Bath & Body Works. So that's why I assume that it might be something that they've already done before. But yeah, I picked up the Fragrance Mist and I also picked up the Shower Gel. They're gonna do a whole line in a lot of these scents. So they will have the matching lotion, it's either a lotion or a body cream and then also scrubs. I've been seeing that they're coming out with a lot more scrubs to match a lot of their older scents as well. I was hoping they were gonna list a few more fragrance notes, but it just says whipped vanilla and juicy berries. I did smell this one a little bit in store already so I kind of got an idea for how it smells. For sure this is smelling like candied berries. You really do get the mixture of like strawberry, blueberry, raspberry for sure. Like it has that red mixed berry scent and it is pretty sugary sweet but it doesn't smell like boardwalk taffy to me. It doesn't really have that strong cotton candy scent. At least not to me. That's not really what it's smelling like. It does kind of have this like whipped vanilla scent, but I really wouldn't consider this like a gourmand type of scent. It's definitely more fruity sweet. I think I like the scent more in the shower gel. It smells sweeter, it's fruitier. The mixture of the mixed berries, I don't know why like the berry part is kind of reminding me of champagne sprinkles. That one I think came out a couple years ago from Bath & Body Works. It was during one of these summer semi-annual sales. And I'm not saying it's a dupe for champagne sprinkles. That one is super gourmand, very sweet and strong. This is much lighter than that. I'm just saying like the raspberry notes in champagne sprinkles kind of reminds me of the raspberry note in this one. This one is just like a lighter, more fruity version while champagne sprinkles comes off a lot more gourmand to me. If that makes sense, I'm trying just to think of other scents in my collection that might smell similar to this one. It's not that this one is super unique because it just smells like fruity sweet berries. I was hoping to smell a little bit more of that whipped vanilla. I think I get more of that from the shower gel while the fragrance mist comes off almost a little bit tart. Let me spray it on my skin to really get the full effect here. Oh, I like the way it smells more on my skin than I do spray it in the cap. Because in the cap, it just smells like tart red berries. And on my skin, I'm smelling a little bit more of the whipped vanilla. It's still fruity sweet. It has a little bit of this tart kind of feel to it, but yeah, I think overall I like this one, especially for the price point. I mean, it's less than $5. So yeah, we'll see. I'm gonna try out the shower gel soon. It's just funny how similar these look to the regular like Bath & Body Works ones now, but it's just like a stretched out version of their shower gels. And these can be used as bubble baths as well. You get 16 ounces in here. I don't remember the exact price, but I wanna say these are right around $4. Honestly, I just wish the fragrance mist smelled more like the shower gel and I would be completely on board with this scent. Okay, I'm just gonna edit this in because I did already finish filming the haul. But one of my friends actually asked if it was similar to Among the Clouds. And I think this is probably what it's most similar to. I still think Among the Clouds is sweeter, but this is a lot more fruity, like more like mixed berries type of fruity scent. I can't remember all the scent notes in Among the Clouds, but I'm pretty sure this also has a mixed berry note. This has been compared a lot to Boardwalk Taffy, but I don't think they smell exactly alike. Like this smells a lot more fruity and less cotton candy-like. So I think these two, are actually pretty similar. Among the Clouds, still sweeter, but if I had to compare it to any other Bath & Body Works scent, it would probably be this one. Okay, so I showed that I found one of the new Tree Hut scrubs. I don't know how long this one been out because there have been so many new Tree Hut scrubs that have come out recently, but this one is the new Passion Fruit Soul. 
and I know I haven't tried this one yet so this one is brand new to me I actually really like this one it does come off a little bit florally like I'm getting hints of florals for some reason it just says passion flower passion fruit and shea butter let me actually look on the tree hut website to see what the notes are on their website it has notes of Hawaiian pineapple water lily and a hint of relaxing jasmine so for sure it's giving off that's more like floral type of vibe but there's something about it that i really like like it smells more of like a tropical perfume type of scent to me so i really like that for a scrub this just feels like one of those scents that would actually linger on your skin after you shower it does smell a little bit stronger to me so yeah i decided to pick that one up i haven't really picked up a lot of the new tree hut scrubs recently the last body wash that i picked up at walmart is this one from dial this is the new cocoa butter and orange extract body wash it says exfoliate and restore and i haven't used a dial body wash in a while but i like this scent for some reason i love cocoa butter scents and this one with that orange extract it does kind of have this like citrusy note to it it almost kind of smells like a creamsicle to me a little bit like it's really sweet there's just something about it that i like and the formula just sounded good too it says it's supposed to be a deep clean and gentle on your skin smoother skin in just one shower i'm gonna have to try this one soon i've been trying out all my new body washes as soon as i buy them i just put them into my shower and start trying them out so the other two that i got last week i got one from dove it's the hyaluronic serum one it's like in a blue bottle similar to this and i've used it at least like four times now i've really been enjoying it so whenever i went back to heb the other day these were actually marked down and they were on sale this one has four percent restoring serum with collagen this is supposed to promote firmer, more supple skin. It just sounded really good. So because I've been liking the other one, I decided to grab another. It has a nice fresh scent. Nothing too heavy at all though. I've been enjoying them more as a base clean. And then if I want to add anything with a heavier scent, I'll just go in with my Bath & Body Works ones after. But so far, the other one that I've been trying has been working well. But along with the new body washes, they also had these on sale. These are the new aluminum-free deodorants. It's the Vitamin Care, and I chose the one with raspberry and rose. I just love the packaging on these two. Like, it's very simple, clean, minimal looking packaging. And I like the fact that these are also aluminum free. So I went through a few of the scents. I was tempted to get the coconut and shea butter one because that one smelled really good. But I like how this one was a little bit more fresh. I just think this would be nicer for every day. If you like rose scents, I think you would like this one. Here's what the actual stick deodorant looks like. It looks pretty similar to a lot of the aluminum free ones. I picked up just a few things from Walmart. I picked up one of these lemon lime primes. I haven't tried this flavor yet, but I tried the moonberry, I think it was. It was in the white bottle and that one tasted really good. And then right by the checkout, they had all these hot sauces for a dollar. So they had this Thai sweet chili sauce. I did try this one already the pizza hot sauce it's not really spicy or anything but i do like the flavor on pizza so i got another one of those and then i also got this black truffle hot sauce and yeah that's everything that i got from walmart so really quick i'll show what i picked up last night from tj maxx i picked up another coffee syrup because this one just sounded so good this is a cookies and cream sugar-free syrup never tried this brand before but i do have quite a few sugar-free coffee syrups that i use and i do like them some of the flavors can be hit or miss but i mean for 4.99 i was willing to try it out i want to put together a whole coffee bar soon because i have so many coffee syrups now but what i mainly went in for at tj maxx my friend actually found these and put them on hold for me so i went to go pick them up she found these mimic products that i had been on the hunt for i didn't even know this one was out but i have been looking out for this body mist these you can use in your hair and body and this one is in the number 52 the sweet strawberry milk and basically mimic does a lot of inspired fragrances this one is supposed to be inspired by the strawberry milk perfume by melanie martinez i've never tried the original but i do have this one in the perfume and also the oil oh yeah this really does smell pretty much exactly like the perfume if not a little bit sweeter but it is much much lighter than the perfume i just like to use these kind of just to spray all over my clothes i use them in my hair as well you can kind of see the consistency of them is very very watery i think water is the first ingredient yeah it is so i mean they're not the strongest body mist for sure these were at tj maxx for 9.99 but i have started a full mimic collection back here so if you guys want to see a video on all my mimic scents that i have already purchased 
purchased. I can do that soon. So I'll quickly just go through these. They came out with this little mini rollerball set and these are all roll-on perfumes, which I do already have the full sizes to these. I figured it would be nice just to be able to carry these in my bag. So in here they have the number 57, which is a dupe for the Kaoli Pistachio Gelato. They have the number 76 Spicy Amber Vanilla. I think that one's supposed to be a dupe for YSL Black Opium. They also have number 99, which is the Amber Floral Wood. And I think that one's supposed to be for Baccarat. And the last one in here is number 52, again, the Strawberry Milk one. And this one was at TJ Maxx for $16.99. And then at the checkout, I just grabbed this little notepad here. It's just to make little checklists. I usually do these on my phone, but I really like handwriting little to-do list like this. And this one was only $2.99. Yeah, that is all the new stuff that I got. Did I need all this body care? Probably not. But I do like to pick things up. That way I can talk about them in videos and let you guys know if I think they're worth it or not. So I'm gonna enjoy trying out some of these new things. I'm really excited that I was able to find the new Body Ecology scent. If you guys tried this one, let me know your thoughts. I really don't like the scent in the cap. Yeah, it smells totally different in the cap than it does on my skin. But anyways, lots of exciting finds. Hopefully you guys enjoy this little vlog style video. So I'll probably do more of them in the future. Maybe we'll go out trying to find some other new stuff like the rest of the collection from Body Ecology. Or if there's anything else that's new, you can always send it to me on Instagram. I usually try to share a lot of the newer stuff on my stories. I think that's gonna be it for today's video. This video is probably already long because I wasn't expecting to find all this other new body care. But either way, if you guys made it to the end of this video and enjoyed it and wanna see more videos like this, you can just give this video a thumbs up. It really helps on my channel and helps on videos whenever you do. So I always appreciate whenever you guys do that, especially if you watch to the end. Like I, I truly do appreciate that and just taking your time to hang out with me. Of course, if you are not subscribed, I would love it if you did. You can turn on your post notifications. That way you get notified whenever I post new videos. I will have linked down my Instagram and TikTok if you guys want to follow me there as well. But I'm going to stop rambling now. It's going to be it for today's video. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next one. Bye.